Welcome back. We're back in Kadish Gallery. This time, though, not just to look around. We have clues to find. And there are a lot of clues here. Not all of which are actually for Kadish to Lisa, because these on the side here are for Anone. Same clue is also in the uh, Anone Cathedral. Just in case you're watching this uh, as a walkthrough just for Cage to Lisa and don't want Anna spoiled, I'm not gonna explain that particular clue. Um, we will, of course, need all of the other clues. The uh, telescope clue. I'm just gonna take a key picture of that so I can refer back to it later. Although, of course, I have my own notes of them, so I don't need to uh, refer to the picture to actually see the solution. Which is good, because it's not actually big enough for that. And it doesn't really need a caption. Um, oh, I... Guess I don't really need to refer to that one because it's the next puzzle we're gonna solve anyway. And this puzzle of uh, this uh, is, of course, for the moon room, as some people call it, or the lit floor room. So let's take a picture of that. And these are for all the way near the end, of course, the uh, combination lock to get into the safe. So I'm just going to take a picture of one side like I did in the other Let's Play, just so I can refer you back to it. I find this very hypnotic, this bit right here. <laughs> yeah. One of the few places in the game also where you can see the sequence of tiny numbers if you uh, don't remember how they go. At least up to six. I'm sure again would be appalled that it doesn't go up to five. <laughs> that um, thing above isn't a clue to anything, is it? It's just decorative. Yeah. Or it it's just, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's, uh, it might be a clue to an age that they haven't released, uh, or that that they plan to have. But it, to me, it doesn't look like it's actually a clue to anything. Well, apparently, Cater's Gallery was originally a store, presumably an art store. And for some reason. Kadish decided to put the solution to all of the locks guarding his riches on public display. But I guess that's in character for him, because he also put that symbol for Anane all over the place, which, if you know how an Anane works, really gives away uh, the secret. So I guess he liked uh, flaunting this in people's faces and thinking, haha, you can see this, but you don't know what it means. Or something like that. Well, it is. It's a temptation to, to flaunt his cleverness. Okay. Oh, we've got the st stars on the ceiling there. Never, never really noticed that before. Also, somebody needs to check the structure of this building. A huge crack in the ceiling! But I'm sure yes, that... The Dunny Restoration Council wouldn't have let people in here if it wasn't safe. But obviously those are painted stars, just like I... Ah, yep, the stars, the... yeah. And the final clue here is um, for the pyramid puzzle. The previous one was um, 
for the Raising Pillars puzzle. And that's all we need! I gotta tell you though, this, these clues and this H are just the most difficult bit of all of Uru. Um, I find these puzzles to be the hardest puzzles in the game. And the clues are so damn obscure. Okay, I gotta share this book. go back to Katie Sliza. The third linking point for Katie Sliza, which is here, near the first telescope. So now we got to um, solve some of the telescopes. Now each telescope actually consists of two uh, parts. Part is uh, one part is fixed and the other part is moving. If you uh, pay close attention, you can actually see that this bit here nearby is the stationary part, and the bit in the distance uh, is the moving part, and they just overlap if you uh, if you look through the telescope. Now, if while I'm doing this, Nora will actually be able to see that moving bit moving. Uh, this one isn't that clear to see. The second one is a lot clearer, so I'll demonstrate it there by having Nora solve the second. Uh, Scope. Wait till I get down there. I don't know if that it makes any difference. That's no, I, I think this one is too high up, so I can't actually see Nora through the scope, which is possible with the third scope, and I think maybe also the second one. Anyway, we've got this, this uh, to solve this, and this is, of course, the upper of the three symbols, and you wouldn't be able to, to really see the uh, what it looks like on the picture. And since we just saw the clue, there's not really any point to me referring you back to it now. So, once again, we just first check what moves which uh, with what button. So we can tell that um, this part moves only with the left button. So then we can simply move that into place first. And now by lucky happenstance that puts the grey bit in place as well which means we only have to put this uh, quarter circle or whatever it is into position and that should be uh, like that some people apparently find this really difficult to do but I don't I have actually gotten uh, requests when I was uh, playing this, people uh, who wanted help getting these uh, viewers set up right, even though they knew where the uh, puzzle, uh, where the solution was, they still just couldn't get them set up correctly for some reason. Nora, where have you gone? <laughs> I was trying to... Uh, I'm at the second thing. I was trying to see where your your thing was moving, but I missed it entirely. So yeah, it was at just the at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the Well I the, missed it. The hole the, not, the, not really the hole because uh, we're in a forest, but anyway, the end of the path. This was directly in front of the, the first telescope, so Alright, we'll go through all of this. And to the second telescope which is over here. Um, this is actually a lot easier to tell where the moving bit is. Cause this is the moving bit, right up front here. And I do believe that the stationary bit um, here actually duplicates the moving bit of the first telescope, which is why you have to solve the telescopes in this particular order. Because if you don't, um, you will never be able to set up the second and third telescopes. Now don't be f don't forget to touch the cloth. I'm doing that right now. Good. And there is a borrow stone on this side. And where did that lead again? I can't remember. <laughs> what does it look ah, like? Ah, right. It's the the balcony overlooking Canyon uh, Alley. Ah. 
Uh, well, it's another location we might need um, if doing marker runs, so why not uh, go there? And because it's a city location, we don't need to share it, of course. And again, it's a shame that this is not the public uh, Agora, because it would be nice to stand here and just watch people run around down there. Of course, I could stand here and watch Nora run around down there if she went to uh, our neighborhood instance. Or if you're in a large neighborhood like Uru Obsession, you might conceivably see other people. But it still would have been nice if it was a public one, because there's many more people there. Mm. You can see this balcony pretty easily from the, from inside the city, especially recognizable by these blue light posts. And you can of course see the entrance to Kadish Gallery from here. And you will be back here on your marker runs. Yes. This is definitely one of the places you get to to go to. Um, we're coming to time. Yes. Well, we don't need to worry about that thanks to the. <laughs> Longer limits, although we are still gonna stick to uh, around 11 minutes for most of this let's play, unless, like now, we go slightly over time. Um, but we'll continue uh, in the next video.